All right, guys, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm having to do a request on um, taking scientific notation numbers and putting them into decimal notation. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, um, one of the things that we need to do here is realize that we have um, a number that's written in scientific notation. We see that it says times 10 to the ninth. Now what that means is they want us to take 1.56 and multiply it by 10 nine times. So that's 1.56 times 10 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 times 10, you know, uh, nine times. So um, sometimes that will not always show on your calculator. So let's see if I can show you a way of figuring this out by hand so it's not that big of a deal when you actually get one to show up on the calculator, you actually understand how you got the answer. All right. <clears throat> to begin with, we need to make sure that we understand how this decimal moves. Okay, so in the beginning, they start off giving us 1.56. Okay, and they say it's times 10 to the ninth. Now, um, you need to realize that we need to move this decimal this way nine times. Okay, so basically, if you were to move the number, move the decimal one time. And change its position instead of being between the one and the five being between the five and the six like if you had uh, one five point six like fifteen point six times ten that this number here would no longer be nine it would actually drop to eight okay now the reason why it's dropping is you're moving the number to the right which is causing the number 1.56 to become the number 15.56 so in other words you've multiplied this side by 10 so on this side you've decreased this number by a power of 10 so if you swung the decimal one more time and you had it behind the 6 which is not necessary to write but you put it here uh, then this would be times 10 to the 7th now what's nice about getting it to this point is this. That just means that all you need to do is write down the 1, the 5, and the 6, and then write down 7 zeros behind the 6. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the reason why that is is because the original number was 1.56 times 10 to the ninth. So if you actually take this decimal that's here and swing it one two three four five six seven eight nine times you'll get the original 1.56 which is up here okay and up here so that's the hey how the how does this thing work okay so usually what I try to encourage my students to do is to swing the decimal until you get it to the last position here and then you're able to just turn what remains of the power of 10 to zeros. It's either that or you can just do it this way. You can write 1.56 down and then you can just count the number of swings nine times going to the right. You can go one swing, two swings, three swings, four swings, five swings, six and seven and eight and nine. And on the ninth one, put your dot there okay but in these empty humps you need to put zeros so you have a zero here you have a zero here 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 and a zero here and just rewrite it nice and neat one five six and then one two three four five six seven so that way you can get the answer that way as well a comma 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 and I almost want to say comma median but you know comma million you know but anyway uh, there's that so that's the two ways that I know how to do it by hand uh, you could see if the calculator could do this one for you the daddy three but I think it might give a scientific notation I'm not sure uh, but first thing we need to do is just make sure that our mode is actually set to normal and then after that attempt to punch it in 1.56 times 10 so second comma e and then type in 9 and press enter 
hey, it actually, we're lucky on this one. Whew. So on this one, it actually did it for us, and you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros, and then the one and the five and the six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros. So yeah, we're good. All right. Now, don't always think that this calculator can bail you out because sometimes it will not. <laughs> so don't don't become heavily relied upon it. Okay. All right. Now let's look at this last one. Now on this one, this is what they're actually asking us to do. They're they're asking us to take 4.33 3 <laughs> and multiply it by 1 over 10 to the 7th. So essentially they're asking us to take 4.33 and divide it by 10 to the 7th. Yes, they're asking us to take 4.33 and divide it by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What number is that anyway? They're asking us to take 4.3 and divide it by 10 million. Okay, so that's going to be a really small number. And I'm assuming that's why it's raised to the power of 10 to the negative seven. But let's actually put this number in the in sign in decimal notation. I love it when it's the power of 10 to a negative number. Because usually I'm, I love these because I can be so lazy on this. Okay, as long as there's just one number in front of your decimal here, and that number is not a zero, then you can do the lazy cheaters way. Okay, which is just going uh, zero point and then count this zero and put seven zeros down first. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six seven and see there's my decimal all i got to do now is just write down the four three three and i'm actually done now that's the lazy man's way of doing this and it's really not correct as far as uh, a method but it will always work as long as there's a number that's not a zero in front of your decimal and it can only be one number it can't be multiple numbers okay but let me show you the correct way of doing it what you can do is you can take uh, 4.33 and realize that they're wanting you to move the decimal forward seven times so it's kind of like they want you to move it backwards if you're dealing with a big number you're moving the number backwards that well excuse me the decimal backwards but on these that are negative you move the decimal forward okay so let's move it seven times that's one two three four five six seven and let's put our decimal here now now remember wherever you see empty humps you put zero so we need a zero here we need a zero here 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 now i used to get fussed at by my high school and college uh teachers that i didn't have a zero in front of my decimal so make sure you put one in front of your decimal so once again you can see that we have 0 0.00000433 and notice that it is still one two three four five six seven zeros so you can see if the calculator will do it for you just so you can uh, have a crutch but let's try that real quick we've got 4.33 times 10 so that's second comma uh, to the negative 7 press enter and lo and behold it didn't change it for us but what you can do is don't panic test your answer 0. Uh, 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 4. 3. 3. Now let me make sure I can punch it in right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Good. I'm going to hit enter and boo. I got the same answer. So that lets me know that my work is correct, you know, and everything. So there, I gave you a couple of ways that you can do this problem, work this problem, and understand it. So if you need anything else, just let me know. All right, guys, thanks for the request.